Hello everyone, I welcome you to Constec Academy. I'm so excited for you being part of this training. In this section, we want to look at how to convert our Microsoft Access project, no matter the extension of the project, into an executable uh, program, like any normal software that we download on the internet. So how do we make it? An executable software so without wasting my time i'll show you how my own look like and then after we do that how you also do your own so this is just a sample project demonstrating how the setup works so i've converted this application into an executable software so as you can see you cannot see the the tables and the query or the tools but you cannot see them they are all hidden so this is the dashboard this is my dashboard so i will stop here okay so i'll close this and then i'll also close this now this is what we are going to use this is the name of the software it's called sse setup so go to your chrome browser or any browser of your choice or any other browser that you think you want to use uh, so in your address bar just type download type download download what s s e setup setup for windows i'll say windows 11 windows 10 okay so just click on it. press the enter key okay so my internet so you go for the second one the second one okay you go for the second one or anyone so i'm going for the second one my internet is so this is what you have this is how the the sse setup look like okay this is how it look like then you click on so you can read here you can read about it so it's what the sse setup is a free professional easy to use to to create setup packages for your software okay Create full feature professional installer in minutes, trusted, stable. So, this is it very important. So, you just click on here. I've already downloaded it. So, I, so if you click here, it will start the download process. I have already downloaded it here. So, the, the file is not that big. So, how you install any normal software so so i'll open it and then you double click on it okay so from now you can close this you can close this okay when you double click on it you follow the instruction to what to install it i have already uh, installed it on my computer so uh, it will give me this option so it will ask me i've already installed so i will not uh, accept it so when you finish installing it you have this icon 
you have this icon so i want to uh, you have this icon so you double click on it and i'll walk you through how to make it an executable file okay so you just click on start new project okay so you will be asked towards the name of your program okay so i give this name that's the name i've given to the first one that i've just created so because i've already done it i will just put some numbers here to distinguish okay or you can click here new to what i can say uh, sba sba program okay so what's the version of your sba program if it's version one just one version 1.0 okay your uh, program main file where is uh, you cl click on browse to locate where your microsoft access project that you want to use for what your for the mm -hmm. so i'll use this my access project so i'll click on it and i'll click on open so the browse will enable you to locate the file location of where you have kept your microsoft project then you select that path then your name or company name if you have a website you click you what you you type in if you don't have it you leave it as it is okay so you come here very important come here and select before microsoft access with command line default select this one click on it and click on start so it will ask you the project you are starting is a new access project it's strongly suggested that you you read a step-by-step -step guide and instruction for asset developers as it will make things more clearer and easier for you so you click on yes so it will bring this for you but i'll walk you through it will talk talk about how to if you are using a 64 bit how you are supposed to go about so you just wait for it so it is deploying the access database so in few seconds it will finish so the installation has started so i'll walk you through uh, so the post this is the program info what's the name of the program info setup type is a brand new application okay so it depends if it's a patch but because it's a new one so you select a brand new and then you select what mm -hmm. you can select this one is very important this is a what select if your computer so if your computer is running 64 you select it okay if it's not running 64 you leave it as it is i am my computer is running 64 so you click on 64 Then you can write registry statement to the 64 bit registry. Uh, multiple version. Allow different version of your software to be installed on the same. You don't if you don't want that you what? You select it. If you don't want the user to install it, you select it. If you are done, you just click on next. Yeah, this one is not needed no admin can install as itself this one is not needed you leave it as it is okay but what is very important here you come here click on edit condition uh, we want want to edit the condition you want you to make it uh, people who are using access uh, 2010 can also make use of it so you start with 2010 okay so your application should work on any of this 
if it is a 62 bit which is dude 62 if it's 32 so my own is both so if you are done you just click on ok so here you are setting the minimum version uh, meaning that people who have access 2010 can use this software and and higher so click on ok so click on ok then click on next uh, uh do you want to show a welcome message yes we want to show a welcome message mm -hmm. there should be a welcome message now interface interface this is how the interface will look like okay which one do you want mm -hmm. Which of the interface do you want to show? If you like this one, you click on the select. Okay. Now, uh, what is the image, the left image in wizard? What image you want to use? So if you have any image, uh, the image that you're supposed to be used is supposed to be in BMP file. If you're a graphic design student, you can create your own. But I will use the default, uh, the default, something in the form of install. So I will choose this one. Uh, click on OK. Open. And then small image using if you want to use any small image you can browse you can click here to browse but i'll use the default yeah this one should be like this display version number if you want to show fire animation you can also show it you can show it if you want to show about button you can also show it what is the message on the startup so I want to put this, you can put your own a message. Hello, hello user. So this is the message I want to put to the user. Hello user, thanks for choosing to install our program. Message on folder change. You can put a message here. And then after the user have installed the software, what is the message do you want to show? So I want to say Let me say congratulations. Let me say congratulations. So congratulations, we have successfully installed the SBA program. So after you finish, you just click on next. Click on okay. You leave it. If you have any message, this one is like a license statement. Okay. I will leave it as it is. But if you have your own license, you can copy and paste here. So I'll click on next. Click on next. So 
so you can allow admin user to choose to install shortcut for themselves or or users so you can check it or leave it like that it depends on you Let's click on this leave click on this click on this so if you have a website here you can put it here uh, after you install the program it will open if you want to play audio file on the install you can do that so you, this one you can go through i'll leave it as it is okay click on next 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 so this one this is the copyright you can't uh, this one signing your installer will improve your user experience so i will leave you as it is mm. you can go and do more research about it click on next now i want to create uh this the the setup i want to also create a, a cd a zip archive for it so click on save create and execute and exist mm. so the sse setup will do everything for you and then it took uh creates the setup for you okay so in a few minutes so so everything is done for you it has created the it has created so after everything this is what you get at the end of the day so you can now uh, what okay after I, after you finish everything it will be open i don't know why my oh yes this is it so you can install it on your computer okay this is a setup and the test mm. you can install but i will not do the installation this is the lances agreement okay And this is the setup itself this is the setup okay and then the 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 this is a access this thing so that is the end this is what you're going to give to the people okay thank you very much so when you install it you can close this ones you can close this one you can change your icon Okay, thank you very much. We'll stop here. I wish you all the best. Thanks.